Hi, this is Natalie of the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche. We are on location at the Cross Stitch Cupboard in Wilton Manors, Florida, which is in Fort Lauderdale. So let's let's turn this around. So, Karen, why don't you introduce the store? This is the Cross Stitch Cupboard. We've been in business for uh, 38 years. We're working on 39. Tell us the history of the store. Well, the store originated in the Coral Ridge Mall, which is a few miles from here. It was half of a kiosk. Uh, I was uh, cross-stitching with two of my friends in North Carolina on uh, a winter, January in 1981, and we said, with our husbands sitting there by the fire, wouldn't it be fun to open a store? And that was January. All the men laughed a little too much and so by April we opened our store. Awesome and how long have you been in business you said? Since 1981 we started the cross stitch cupboard and it was half of a kiosk and uh, we were after that after the Coral Ridge Mall we were behind the Egg and You restaurant in a building and we were a tenant we decided we wanted to be our own landlord we bought this lot where we are and we built this building this we, is a beautiful lot. I don't know, it's too bright outside. You really can't see, but it's got huge trees. I think Karen specifically preserved the trees on this we lot. We certainly did. We yes. had a chance to do a, a song and dance for the city of Wilton Manors to sit this property back on the lot so we saved many of the old pine trees. Um, these are pine trees are very old. We've done all kinds of things to keep them alive. And what's really nice about this store is that there's actually a porch. I'm just going to walk you outside real quick just to show you the porch because Karen will have events out on this porch. And it's very welcoming. Oop, there we go. And this is the porch is where when we have our Nashville day, we serve lunch and have everybody relaxing in chairs and enjoying each other. So that's a special day here once a year at the Cross Stitch Cupboard. So what we're gonna do today is go through the store. There are so many finishes here, it's, it's crazy. There are 30 years of finishes? <laughs> I mean, let's see, 1980? 38. 38, 38 years exactly, worth of finishes? and we're working on 39. There's, an, uh, there's a lot of charts that are vintage charts that you cannot find anywhere else. There are a lot of charts, um, actually the majority are brand new charts. I actually, at the corner of my eye, I see something that I haven't seen before, but we'll get to it. Let Let's me go show around you this, stores. Natalie, because this is brand new. This is one of the needlework styles that we do here, which is needle punch. My daughter, Sarah, punched this for us, and we finished it on this little uh, black uh, Very filigree. Cute. And needle punch is a great way of relieving stress and using up your old embroidery floss. Who is the designer of this? That is Little House. Little House one, huh? Let's look, this, this area is the spring and Easter area. Obviously, we just finished Easter. I'm just gonna eyeball some of these different projects and maybe you can tell us about them. These little ornaments are awfully cute. Yes, these are ornaments that we have finished. We teach an ornament finishing class and we teach you how to do that, how to make the German roping and how to finish it. Kathy is our framer and she is so good at the detail of finishing these kinds of ornaments. Now they do mail order framing here, I know, because sometimes I do mail stuff instead of uh, driving here. Absolutely. And I'm afraid to advertise that because they are so busy, mm -hmm. <laughs> but their job is amazing, as you can see. Are these ornaments from maybe a magazine? No, those no. are both from individual charts. The, the you know one the on charts? the right, this is Cross-Eyed Cricket, and this little egg is, um, a waxing moon. Waxing moon. So yeah, I'd like to go through some of these at least to give if somebody sees something that they yeah. like. This is a fun different finish because it's stitched right on the bag. There's been a lot of talk recently about target bags and stitching on it. Well, we've been doing that for years and this is actually stitched right on the little woven bag. And this says Spring Crazy by Lizzie Kate. It's Lizzie Kate. I still have a few copies of it left. And look at the Look at the fuzzy guy in the top. <laughs> I like this little basket here. Yes, Look how cute. cute. Oh That's my a real cute goodness. finish. On, um, it's a Sue Hillis design. Wait, and hold on. Let me just focus on it. It's obviously a bunny. <laughs> yes, and it's done in the little Nantucket basket. 
Where can you get that Nantucket basket? That we, is so cool. We used to have them, but I think they are still available if you look I'm, around. I'm just going to get a close-up of this. Okay. Because this is one of the cutest things I've seen in a long time. This little Nantucket basket with the Sue Hillis design called Hip Hop 2, in case you're interested. Oh, so cute. Wow. There's so many things to see in this store. I've, I, every time I come here, I'm surprised. Let's, uh, this, what is this? This guy right here, this is a design called Alphabet Garden, um, and it is, uh, it's actually a European design. We are completely sold out of it, but it is coming in again. So it's by Nikki's, Nikki's. Creation. Mm -hmm. Nikki's Creations. What uh -huh. fabric is this? I don't remember. It's fabulous. Yeah, I, I would have to check. It's Maybe a hand dyed public picture, picture this, this plus. plus? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's a picture of this plus, but I would have to check on that. So this is actually a fairly new design by it's Nikki's a, It's Creations. a couple years a couple old. Years? Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. look how yeah. cute it is. Yeah. And I know this one's pretty new. That's brand new that we brought that back from market. That's Spring Whirligig um, from Heart and Hand. From Heart and Hand Spring Whirligig. Whirligig. Uh -huh. Very cute. And let's just might as well go through some more of these. This is what is this? This that says is, that is the carrot tree farm that Scissor Tail has um, designed. Scissor Tail. Uh huh. Very cute. And we have a pillow. They also do pillow finishes here we because sure they have made me beautiful pillows. That that's a work play April from With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. Brenda Gervais does such a beautiful job. Look at this this bunny. He's so cute. So this is the Easter holiday uh, spring, spring time. time. There's more going on here. Look at this little... I just love repurposing stuff, as you already know. <laughs> this is a, this could be a can of some sort. You can find Put like... Jelly beans in or, or candy. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was thinking antique yeah. tin of some sort. Good. But this is a cute little design. Do you know who it is? Oop. That is a just another button company or Jabco. That's their design with their buttons. Just another button and we company. Have the, we have the chart for free when you buy the buttons. And what, do you know the name of this chart? It's called Tweet. Tweet, and it's on sparkly fabric, obviously. Yes. Let's just go through this. Now, we're actually, oh, here's one of my favorite. He is Risen. This is by Cross-Eyed Cricket. Correct which is an oldie but a goodie. They've been yeah. around a long time. Long time, out but of still print, very right? prolific. No, I nope. still have copies of that. Mm -hmm. He is, this just happens to, the flowers just are, are just amazing. And there's something about this I like. I, I even like the finish by Cross-Eyed Cricket, probably called Heath Rosen, yes. I would imagine. I just love looking at these finishes. Now, as we go, this is so, this store is divided into different areas. As we go from, from the spring area, and actually, let's just look at a few more of these because I see some, maybe some newer charts here. Yes. This is Pepperberry Designs and called- we had that trunk show. We just sent it back to the designer, but we had all 11 of those designs. Uh, yeah, I had them in my other, the short video. Do you need to help somebody? I do, I'm gonna put okay. right back. So I, I'm gonna go through these while Karen helps the customer. This is Pepperberry Designs Bunny Butt. It's very cute. So these are some newer things. So that's why I want to just show everybody. Now, Tiny I modernist. To show you this because this is brand new. It's the cross stitch journal. There's room for 50 different cross stitch projects inside where you can record what kind of fabric, what kind of floss or fibers, and some detail about the project. Because often when you give a project away, you don't have a good uh, memory of it. Yeah. But you can keep track of it that way. These are on order and they'll be here soon. Um, it's just a great little I product. I do like that. That, yeah. is, that is neat. It's a cross-stitch journal. That's I, brand new, coming in soon. Wait, I'm just going to go through these real quick. This is... Spring Tulips by, it's a Nashville exclusive, I've never seen this, by the Purple Thread. And it looks like it comes with fabulous fabric and buttons. Very cute little kit. So these are some newer items in her area of the finishes. 
let's see, there's a bunch of Lizzie Cates. These obviously are not new designs, but they're, they're still available. Some Easter designs. I'm just going through this to see, because I think this is fun. And this is another Lizzie Kate. This is a really nice little kit. As you can see, it's called Spring. And it comes with, it comes with nice fabric, which looks like linen for sure, and a little cute little scissor. Anything you see here, you can call and get, but I think it's kind of neat just to go through some of these different projects. Karen's helping a customer, so I think I'm going to continue. This is Easter Bunny by Twisted, and I can't read that. TBR, who knows? A very cute finish. I, I like these finishes that sort of sit up. So this store is divided into trunk shows up front, and I will go over those, into different sections. This is the spring and summer and Easter section, and now we're going to change into the Florida and the Florida and uh, summer and what else would you say? Florida, spring, summer, uh, beach, everything collection. And I'm just going to go through some of these finishes because they're pretty amazing. This is an old lobster trap. I have showed you the, the, some of the frames, but this is a finish. Life is a beach. Watch out for the crabs. And, oop, I just pulled that apart. I don't know who makes this, but we can certainly ask Karen. But they do sell these these frames. These frames are at, were pretty easy to get for a while after the hurricane, and now they're becoming more scarce. Let's just go through. There's clearly some Mill Hill kits here. All types of Mill Hill kits, again, spring and summer. This is a nice finish. This is hands-on design called Grab Life made into a pillow. The finishes here are just lovely. This one is called Collective Stitch Book Postcards From. It's a 2017 design called Greetings from the Beach. And it looks like it's done on, I would say, Sprite Picture This Plus. Very cute. Like I said, you certainly can find these everywhere. Here's some more frames. These were, this is for a small one. As you can see, they all have personality. These frames, you can order them here. I, I've looked online. I can't seem to find as nice frames anywhere else. I'm sure Karen would, would probably uh, ship these for you. This looks like more of a, of a ready-made frame, but this one's cute too, but I, I just love these repurposed, old and barnacle infested and amazing frames, just amazing. So let's just go, this is again the summer, we went from spring to summer. This is by Romy Designs. This is called Sea Turtle by Romy. Romy is a designer from Italy. And it looks like this was done on this beautiful fabric. I'm going to just show you the fabric because you know I love it. 30 Count Morris Blue by Week Style Works. Very, very, it's like a morning glory blue fabric. And let's put that back. I don't want to make a mess. And there's some little cute little pins. And this is actually Rami's, Rami's own dyed thread. So you can buy this online. Uh, Karen has some if you want to call here. But Rami now makes, are we focusing? Yeah. Rami now makes hand dyed threads that are just beautiful. And 
So that is Rami Design, again, available it, that, here. That design is really from JBW. Jimmy oh, Whitman. excuse me. But it's it's Romy's fibers. Romy's fibers but, that are but used. But the design is from Judy That's Whitman. It's part there. of the Seaside series. Let's and there are lots of other uh, little critters from the there's sea. There's a lobster. That's it. And that's the turtle's on there, too, I think. I'm just going to show you a bunch of these, but look how cute they are. Oh, my goodness. The seashell and the pelican. You know I love pelicans. I may have to bring one of these home. <laughs> Dolphins, crab. So these are these are by J B W J B W Designs, and they're so adorable. And we just showed you this done with Rami's thread. Now I thought this was Rami, but it's not. Here's another cute design by Hands On Design called Flock Together to the Beach. My goodness, look how cute this is. Here it is, right here. Let's look at the finish <gasps> on this fabulous frame. This is on, it looks like cream linen, uh -huh. probably DMC, although, Not, no, no, it's hand, no, it's, it's dyed hand thread. Dyed. Yeah, yeah. Poor Karen's got to take care of her store. Of course, she's here alone, so I, I'm going to solo. She'll come in, in and out. Good afternoon, cross the But this is really pretty. Once again, hands-on design. I Here's another finish. You. This is called Mermaid's Okey Lagoon Okey. by Satsuma. <laughs> Pretty okay. amazing, huh? Uh huh. And what color? I like the blue face of the mermaid. This fabric is sparkly fabric. It's opal, and I don't know what it is. It is definitely a dyed fabric. It's got purple and blue, okay. just lovely. It's probably black. I'm and look at the finish. Too. Um, Even on the hanger, they put these cute little, these nice little, uh, okay. I guess, I, I will figure jellyfish. that out. And give me your phone number, Arlene. On the wall, we continue our yeah, summer theme. This is a, a punch needle called Summer at the Shore. It's a little bit, this is a flamingo. And that is, okay. says, RK Portfolio. It's probably an older design. Okay, I'm sure it's still available here, here though. Um, sea and Sun by Stony Creek. Okay, don't go Another flamingo. Today, my dear. Oh, if I can that's get all the way up there, that's right hang here. 10. Bye -bye. Let's see, how do we, here we go. That hang 10 is definitely by Sam Sarah. Is that mm -hmm. Sam Sarah? No. No. It, Who it is, is it? Um, let me think. My brain is tired. Um, <laughs> what um, the heck is it? Who is it by? It is by... It's fabulous. Raise the Roof. Raise the Roof Designs. Raise the roof. Oh, she does a whole... They, they. It's, it was out of print, and now it's back in print. They do a whole bunch of these, like, little clothesline things. Yes. But I've never seen this particular one. It's bigger than I thought it would be but it's on some sort of dark fabric and it just pops all those colors. I love it. Oh, let's, we, there's so much here that you can go on forever. That's why this is gonna be a long video, guys. Oh, that is, who is this? Look at that one. Oop. The Seaside Sampler. The Seaside Sampler. I have seen this actually, who does that one? It's Rosewood. Rosewood Manor, it looks like a Rosewood Manor one. It's Rosewood Manor. Loop. that's hard to see, hold on. Okay, and see it's- size. oh my goodness. And these are beautiful, these are the silks it's stitched in. These are called Trenway silks. So They're those colors are Unbelievable gorgeous. colors, and this is 17 by Rosewood. 17 different skeins, Rosewood how Manor. Much, how much is just the thing of silk? The okay. silk is 95. And that's what, that's about yeah, right for Yeah, for hand dyed silk. silks, there's 17 of them. And that's the chart. This chart has been around a few years and I've actually seen it on her website and I've never seen it done. I didn't even know they had it here on the wall. Like I said, every time I come, I'm amazed, but this is a lovely sampler. If you love seaside, it's got fish and boats and you name it. And beautiful color, that's probably, it's a creamy linen, I don't know what it is. There are a number of different seahorses here. I don't know who does who does that seahorse. The seahorse. This at one the top is creative. Is that's white willow, right? White there. willow, and yeah. then it looks and like. And this one down here is creative poppy. 
Is this one white willow too? White the willow frog? at the top on the on the gold. And how about the frog? The frog is also white willow. White. That's part of our white willow contest we had. We had a challenge contest that our customers were asked to stitch it, but not stitch in the fiber or the fabric or the finishing that the designer asked for. That's so amazing. So we had a whole show of things done in all kinds of this wonderful ways. This is so ways. talented. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at these. These are called, these are, so these are from White Willow. White Willow. Mm -hmm. And which one is this from? That one, the multi motif one right there is, yes. that is from Creative Poppy. Creative Poppy. Look how cute it is. And that is definitely um, some hand dyed fabric. Who knows? It probably is pictured this plus. It's, it's what it looks like. It, it is. And then we've got this guy back here by Trilogy. Very cute by the sea. Just going along here. I don't know what this one is here. Oop. This guy. What is what is this one? Um, this says Sunshine that's State Jeanette by Douglas. Jeanette Douglas. And that's the Sunshine State sampler. Oh, also it's the done Florida. in silks. Oops. Also done in silks. <laughs> we have a lovely little cupboard here. It's going to be hard to see, I think, but no, we'll do it. This one, Beach, which is done with the beautiful buttons. Who does this cross -eyed one? Cross-eyed Cricket. Cross-eyed Cricket. I mean, Cross-eyed Cricket has been around for a while, a long time, yes. 20, 30 years, yes. like, yes. and their designs look like they were just made. They are timeless. Timeless designs. I mean, that is amazingly beautiful. Let's look at this one. This one is I Dream of the Sea and the Wild Salt Air. Do you, who does Hands this? Hands on. One? Hands on designs. They're pretty they're pretty prolific nowadays. You better believe it. And how about this one? This is Manny Dadonna and that's her that's Manny her. Dadonna. Manny Dadonna. Uh -huh. And I did one of hers. I did the mm -hmm. the Mary Poppins one. Yep. Uh, a beautiful Manny Dadonna. Oh, I see somebody out there. Is there somebody who wants to come in or does she come here by She's just going oh, to the wrong place. Going to the wrong store, unfortunately. She's, no, she's in the wrong store over there. <laughs> and then we've got, oh, these are more of those more willow? white willow. Mm -hmm. And then in the little blue basket, these are JBW right here. JBW? Yeah, JBW. Oh, I like the little, the... Um, Fishy, the sea No, horse. the, that's not, that's a, uh, what do you call it? What do you call, oh my goodness. The octopus. Octopus, the yes. That's what is, happens when is, I... Uh, a different designer who my brain is. Yeah, I know. Me. Today I'm like that too. It's very cute, it's actually. Friday. It's been a long week. Yeah, I love the octopus. I think that's adorable. This is a tropical motif. This one's more of a, almost looks like an old sampler of some sort, and it's by Carriage House Samplers. Yeah. That, oh, that's what? a Kathy Barrick design. Kathy Barrick, very tropical. Very interesting and different than what she usually designs. Um, I've never seen this one, yeah. and I've certainly never seen it done which is what I think is kind of cool about this place because there's so many <laughs> different things. And what we have, lo and behold, is a Floridian style Christmas tree. Let's just look and see what we have. Ornaments galore. It's a combination of needlepoint and cross stitch uh, on that tree. What is to the beach? Who, who that, is this design? That is a free design and it goes um, uh, hands on. Hands on designs. Mm -hmm. This almost looks like a keychain type of thing. Who it's does this? Pub. That is, uh, um, voila. That's one of the voila. It's a needlepoint. Everything's uh, in the kit, and you just put it. Oh, together. it's needlepoint. Yeah. If you ever want to try needlepoint, this is the way to do it. A Ornament's small little a kit. Ornaments a good way to try it because it's easy and quick, and you can just do the continental stitch. How about this lady? That's Stony Creek. Stony Creek, and, and the, I love the little the, clamshell bra. Very cute. It, pretty cute. And these other two things underneath are also Stony. Stony Creek. Stony Creek is prolific. And there's another one over here. Oh, no, oh look, a snowman yes. with a yes. shell bra. Yes. Go figure. So, and this is actually on a shell. You can buy these shells. These are like the ones that they used to sell, like you, you'd make appetizers yes, in and stuff. Absolutely, that's exactly what that's in. It's just a kind of different finish. And, and here's it's another stitched in that fiber from Romy. From Romy, because See, Romy visited here, we really got to know her fibers. We love her. She's a great great personality and lots yeah I, I i so regretted i was I, I i had to work that day i missed it i was like oh no it's during the week i can't come yeah. 
But next time she's here, maybe. Well, we, we brought her <laughs> back from market, so it was a wonderful, wonderful time. So I think we're, we're pretty much, we went through the, the uh, oh, except for one more. What is this down here? Get your tail, or t I almost said butt. Or. Well, that too. <laughs> Get your tail to the beach. And that is from... Um, needle bling it's a needle bling design now check this out it's got it's got the fabric in the back that's this beautiful like Shells. shell fabric and then it's look at the trim the trim is probably an old shell necklace they used Correct. to sell these everywhere when yep. i was a kid yep. so you can easily probably find this for next to nothing and use it as trim our mary is the creative genius behind so many of the finishes i here. wish mary was she, here today she stitches outside of the box and she is a fast stitcher. This shell is from her too. So Mary's very creative. We are so fortunate to have her. I am always curious what Mary is doing because she every time I come here, she's here, she's working on something. What is this on the bottom? That is needle point kits that are stitched into a Christmas tree stand up. Oh, they're they're really yeah, beautiful. They're really fun. And we have uh, we had a club and that was people got a different one every month and it was a fun fun thing to do there's a few more white willows up there natalie that oh you might, the, i didn't even see yeah, them that you might the elephant uh, the flamingo those are all white willows so if you can if you can get them in they're really fun we've got a i guess a uh, a, a cow skull yes a skull <laughs> a kitty yes Oh, look at, there's the Florida. I did this one. That's Sue Hillis, one I, of our favorite designers. Remember I did that one on dark yes. fabric? Yes. It was something I... So these are all really interesting. This is the last... Look at the... Uh, this is an interesting one, the City of Flor Lauderdale one. That is our exclusive pattern. We um, really were so delighted to help celebrate this city's anniversary of 100, 100 years. Hard to believe. Yeah. Um, this particularly nice bottom area i mean you just feel like you're on the beach here it's it's so well done and who stitched this one mary of course mary of course mary of course now we're in my Christmas. personal favorite <laughs> area just to i'm just going to give you a panoramic view of you have no idea come christmas what this place looks like yeah, this is i mean not even all of our this is a design. a very minimal amount of christmas here because I, i'm just enamored every time i come here come christmas i i just come here that'll be a walk out with stuff i really don't need but of course i have to have <laughs> which oh, is darn oh darn right let's go over some of these nice christmas things um this particular pillow i did personally this is a completely different ver not really that different but a different finish this is by with a needle and thread brenda gervais do you remember the name of this I think that's called Letters for Santa. Yes, it is. That's mm -hmm. right. Letters and for Santa. And Mary stitched it, and Mary did the finishing with the with the uh, ticking red t ah. ticking fabric and the giant rickrack. Really fun. See that giant rickrack? I I really like that. That mm -hmm. is um that is that the Dames of the Needle? It probably it, we, it probably is right. Yes, I yeah. think so. And we've got. This is really fun. This is a brand new brand ornament. New. This is an ornament from Frony Ritter Designs. It's it's part of the Beery Christmas series. Good cheer and cold beer. Um, and me, it would be cold vodka, but okay. And what's interesting <laughs> is it's actually on yeah. a pop top. The ornament gets finished into the pop top and hung that way. Now, what the heck? How did they get these? Where did they? Did, um, I think they must have removed them with one of those. I don't know, but I can tell you that they are pristine and ready to be finished. And there are lots of different charts. This is Seasons Greetings, Rain Beer Ale. Whoa, whoa, we gotta do it slow so everybody can see. Seasons Greetings. Where's the Rain Beer? Rain, rain beer, beer Ale. Oh my goodness! Look at that. He's so cute. And then let's see. I think that's it. You know what I was thinking this might even look good on is uh, the the little covers, the mason jar covers, the yes. one piece ones. Yes. I have a few of those yes. and uh, I think that would look awesome. We have to go through some of these because there's so many beautiful. I guess we'll we'll start at the top. I'm still learning how to use this camera. Okay, there we go. Um, that is a shepherd. Tell me about that one. Stony Creek. Stony Creek on black fabric. Black that fabric. must have been very hard to do. Yeah. 
it is lovely. I mean, you don't, you don't get a more elegant painting than that. Um, how about that? You see that Christmas one, the pillow? That looks like a Heinz. Heinzeit. Yeah, Heinzeit. And then we've got this beautiful, beautiful, uh, what is that, a, a stocking? Stocking JBW, uh-huh. And look at the detail on that. And how about this Santa guy that's just standing? He, that's a stand-up from Artist Collection. We have a few of those books left. There's not... Artist it's Collection. It's out of print. That's an out of print, but we do have a few left. And how about that, that pillow on top? What, what is that? That's a Mill Hill. Mill Hill. That's a Mill Hill with all those wonderful ceramic buttons. Let me see if you could just, oh wow, look at the buttons. I love buttons. And then, and they shall seek him. Really lovely, with, also with buttons. What with is buttons, that? that's from Just Another Button Company. That's a free design when you buy the buttons. Wow. And then you have this, what is, do you Snowman know Snowman Welcome is yeah. from Stony Creek. Stony Creek. Mm -hmm. As we scan down, we've got quite a few ornaments. Look at this guy, wanted, jolly man bearing gifts. I That's really like one of those two. I think we've got a few of those charts left. As you know, Lizzie Kate is no longer being made, but I believe <laughs> that the distributors are still printing it, right? There's one distributor that has has it, um, right? that has those charts. Yeah, they retired, right, last year? They retired. And this guy is kind of cool. I want you to see this because look at the way. It's a Christmas card holder and it's stitched um, with the little pocket there. Look at the, with look all at, the fun buttons. But look at what, what kind of material, what is this stitched in? That what? is a, uh, it's so 20, shiny. I think it's a 20, uh, a 16 count Betsy Ross revolutionary red. No, I'm talking about the oh, actual the fiber, thread. The yeah, fiber the is Corona snow in um, cedar green. Wow, it's called Corona Snow. Here's a, just in case you're interested, here's actually, I'm sorry I had that there. <laughs> and it's called Spirit of Christmas by Mill Hill. There's some really cute, oh, God bless us everyone. Um, everybody that knows me knows I love a Christmas carol, so I'll have to focus on this one by Cross-Eyed Cricket. Cross-Eyed Cricket, once again. Let's go over these. Look at that lovely little scene, what is that? The top one? Yeah, that guy. That's the pickup farmhouse um, from uh, uh, Little House. Little House. Mm -hmm. And this this very modern looking Santa? Yes, that's Satsuma. Satsuma. Mm -hmm. And this guy who is so cute. That's Amy Brucken, one of our very favorite designers. We, Amy Brucken. And Amy look Brucken. at the finish. Yeah. It's like, this is probably from Hobby Lobby or something. Yes. And it looks like she she took she these took these little those candy canes, candy canes and, and the pom-pom trim. That's Amy. That's Mary again, uh, kind of embellishing and having fun. You know, you could do these yourself if you look at these, Absolutely. and um, especially because that's just foam board that she put it around. Although I, uh, I'm just, I do like some real simple finishes, but anything of significance I bring here because they do such a beautiful job. I love this, the little alligator guy. What, what is he? That is from Plum Street. That's part of the Noah's Ark series. And how about the Silver Bells? Silver Bells is from Hands On. Hands On Designs. And again, that's a series too. And then the last one, the Sweet Poppies, mm -hmm. um, that's from Little House. Wow. Wow, we're just, I mean, inundated with beautiful designs. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is Sue Hillis. We finished it. Uh, Mary did this and put it on a metal metal container container from Hobby Lobby I, I love that fabric I've seen, I've been looking at that you have fabric that in lots of different colors it it's just I always say what would I do on that and then I see it and it hits me it's like wow that's amazing these are just some little uh, a bunch of little ornaments um, what how about this one over here that family visits turkey dressing that one's actually really beautiful that is one of our um, that was new last christmas we saw this design at market. We were crazy about it. It's from Silver Creek. I am crazy then, about it. And then we modified it to add the buttons to give a different texture. So we have a whole button pack that goes with it. It's and it, by Silver Creek? Silver Creek. It's called oh. My Christmas List. Uh, that's, I mean, I love the turkey. I think that's kind of yeah. cute. This is my favorite part right here. If Where? you look, we made the quilt so that it stands out on oh. the bed. Oh my goodness, So that it's cute. a tiny little detail. That, that is, it's a quilt. We took That's a terrific so design, I think, and made it 
just a little bit better and with this is adding from two, that. last year yes this is from oh. our christmas recent christmas this one i've seen done before it's there's a glare it's hard to tell the merry christmas that's one because it has glass on it that's a tray um and so, that i don't know i forgot who that's by but i've actually seen it done before that belongs to one of our um, customers and she has just loaned it to me and it'll come to me in a I minute. wonder if that's the lady that I helped pick out the floss for it <laughs> I actually maybe I talked somebody into white lion it's a white, white lion design I talked somebody into changing the floss to make it hand dyed floss instead of DMC because I love the I, and I bet you that's the one I was like oh I can work here too um, <laughs> <laughs> um, there's some amazing, that pillow, I have that design at home, but tell us about that pillow, that's, the big red one. That's a JBW design also, and we just made it a big pillow so it would make a statement. If you put that on a chair or um, on the end of your sofa, J we wanted it to, to really show up. JBW, and what, what JBW is JBW is Judy Whitman. She's a one of our favorite designers. Old Christmas tree is what it's called, I believe. How about it's a jingle out there? What the Lizzie heck? Lizzie Kate. Where'd it go? Lizzie, Lizzie Kate. It's Mary a, Ho Ho. It's a jingle. Lizzie Kate. Yeah, Lizzie Kate. Lizzie Kate certainly was one of our most prolific designers. And these, these, what the, are, what the are snowmen? I? The three snowmen. Four snowmen. Four snowmen, cross eyed cricket. Oh my goodness. See, it's timeless. It looks like it just came out. Let's just scan some of this stuff. I, I like this finish because I love the colors in it. Yes. Again, by Cricut. Cricut. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the way they did the the uh, Christmas tree, I just like it. It's so delicate and it's so pretty. We're, we're just inundated with Christmas because everybody loves Christmas all year. This big one, what the heck is that? That big Christmas one. That bit, the word Christmas is from Hindsight. If you see, it has silver charms on it, and it's from Hindsight. Um, it was one of the first things that we stitched with hand dyed fiber. That fiber is red and green, and in those days, that was a big deal. Now there are all kinds of beautiful hand dyed fibers. I didn't know she made big ones like that. She, we stitched it big. And. Let's see what we've got here. I always like this little thing. That's Tell me from about one this. Of the Just Cross Stitch magazines. And, and Mary, Mary did this. That little crash, I know. crash out of popsicle sticks. Again, creativity reigns. Amazing. But I always love this. Every time I come in here, I'm like, oh, how cute. This is real pretty. This is all stitched on dark fabric with some shiny, shiny stuff. I think that's probably from one of the magazines, right? what the which one this little guy right there Oops. no that's a serendipity design a serendipity has been Never around for many many years and that's one of their designs stitched with the crinics so you get that nice sparkle it's actually got two different colors in uh -huh. here now i've made a bunch of these you see these little these little uh sleds in fact i made a bunch of these and gave them out for christmas presents so it's i don't a great own way to finish because you don't have to spend a lot of money and it's really easy now, I think it's Fox, Fox something has ones to go for this, and yes, Foxwood Crossings yes. has a bunch, and, and Sue apparently Hillis Sue Hillis has, has a lot. she has all of these that you finish. Let me tell you, you with the way I did it was, I did it on the paper. Perforated you know that paper perforated paper? Way to finish. I cut it out to fit this exactly and did a touch of glue and yep. they came out perfect. Everybody that I gave them to thought that I worked for years on these. It's something really but different. But they were super, super. Now there's also some Hanukkah stuff down here for, for people. Now there's some cute stuff here. As you can see, and there, that is a hindsight Hanukkah thing. I've never seen this one. What the heck is this? Uh, I think that's a snowman. No, it's snowman. Oop, yeah. It's just in the Hanukkah section because it's the same the, colors. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we have some Blackbird design home for the holidays. Um, I don't think this one's rare yet. It will be <laughs> because that's the just way they are. Time. If anybody's interested in a sure. copy, it looks like we've got a whole bunch of them here. So you just call. I'm not going to go through all of these different designs here um, because we have a this whole is a place. Fun, this is a fun design from Amy Brook, and this is a club. <gasps> it's Santa for each month of the year, and um, this is stitched on a Black Cauldron Dye Works fabric. Black Cauldron? Who the heck is Black They're Cauldron? They're out of Orlando, and oh. um, 
uh, that area, and this is a, this is one of their fabrics. Really pretty. So and they're all little individual. Yes. Individual guys. Amy Brocken. And you know what's really good about this is this is the roll of frame stand. I have um, I did a whole video on how to use roll of frames. And I don't own the stand, but um, most people have never seen the stand. That's the, that's the floor stand. So it can be adjusted to any size. How much? How much is that floor stand? I think it's one twenty something. Yes. One hundred and twenty. Yeah. I and that's so. really not bad. These are made by hand. The guy makes everything in his little garage, I think. And it's just to me, uh, I think that that would be great just to sit in front of a uh, to sit in front of your couch and use that but that is the floor stand in case anybody is interested uh she may have, do you have the lap stand as well uh no not right now i think okay not. i have other lap stands but not that one right now there's some other interesting christmas stuff you want to get the phone i sure will. okay and what I'm going to do is just go through some other interesting Christmas stuff yeah, because you have to see covered. these finishes. I believe most of these are from Just Cross Stitch. But as you can see, there's so many interesting finishes. This one, it looks like she just took the ends off. This is Kiss a bit, Mary 121 by Hands On Designs, and I just like the little finish in the wood, in the wood uh, frame, in the wood hoop. Joy to the world. These are mostly from. Uh, Some I love are the kitty from cat magazines that we still have copies of, or from particular charts. I just love looking at these finishes to see what she's done because I know Mary has done so many of those. Um, unto you this day, our Savior Christ the Lord. That little mini, uh, that little mini stocking. Who did that? Lizzie. Lizzie Kate. Uh huh. If uh, most people probably have not seen that one finished, it's awesome. Where's the kitty cat? The one that I like. The black. It's a black and red cat. Christmas uh, one. Um, 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 uh, Where the heck is he? I don't see him right now, but I know which one you're you talking about. You know which about. one. I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll run into yeah. him eventually. Wait, hold on. Here he is. There. That, isn't cat. that awesome? <laughs> Look at this 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 hanger. What the heck is we that hanger? We have those so that you can hang your ornaments or your smalls from a ceiling and still display them at you know for particular seasons. We it's a it's all metal and it has the hooks on it, and we have these for sale. I think those are really cool. Fun. Now we have to go over some of these things on the wall. Um, let's see. That jingle jingle, that jingle jingle pillow that's up yes. on the wall, yes. what is that? Uh, I think that's... Uh, Hands on designs, I think, no. Th this with the with the ball fringe? With the, yes. I think it's primitive, primitive hair. Primitive hair? I think it's primitive hair, it's called Hair's Christmas. And, um, oh wow, look at that lovely one, who did that? Which one is that? The primitive hair Christmas carol one? Well, I believe that might be you now. I did that one. That's right. Thank you for sharing it with us. That's God bless it's us, quite, everyone. Quite nicely done, too. Thank you. And, and look at that beautiful Santa. That one's really fancy. Yeah, he's a pretty. He's a pretty who did guy. that one? Mary. That Mary stitched that guy. Very, very talented. Mary is a very good stitcher. Uh, Mary is amazing. Now, there is a trunk show back here. I thought we'd look at the trunk yeah, show next. Elizabeth Designs has loaned us a few of her things. We brought them back from Barca. The top two shelves are from, from her. And they're darling little cottages. And she's got lots of cute detail and, and little different stitches. It's not just cross stitch. So it's the top two. The top two shelves are Do you have Elizabeth the names Designs. of any of these? Or you probably could just look on her site and find I, them. Yeah. yeah. Needle and thread. The, this is a quilter's cottage, which is so very, very cute. This is birds and bees. I mean, look at the little keys hanging off the tree. Yeah. Isn't that so cute? cute? Those are actually scissors. Oh, they're little scissors. They're little scissors. This is Songbird Cottage, so you can see different, nice, just gorgeous little detail. And she did this one? Yes, the that's Frost, frost on the Pumpkin. That's a little bit of fall. Of fall. Yeah. And then this we, we have all these charts available right now in the shop. Amazing. 
Down here, what did you stick down here? Just a bunch of... Well, we've got a, a welcome mirror also from Elizabeth Designs. And Very it comes cute. in the Four Seasons. Hello Kitty. I have this kit at home. <laughs> I have that kit. It I'm come, there are three different versions of that uh, kit, that, and we have all three of that them. That kit's kind of cool because it comes with everything in yes. there. Yes. And then what are these little things on the bottom? Those December? Those are the Joyful Seasons from Joyful Journal, I think it's called. Joyful Journal. Uh, actually... Heart in Hand. Heart, heart in hand. hand. Heart in hand. Another mm -hmm. one that's been around for so many years, yeah. and she does beautiful stuff. I love this fabric. I don't know what that fabric is, but I love it. What do you think that December fabric is? I know what it is. Is it Yuletide? I, it might be. I, Yuletide? I would have to look at it. I have Yuletide see. at home. I'm thinking that's what it is. Oh, my goodness. There's so much to see. So we've just done Christmas and summer and spring. You might. This is our giveaway today. Oh, sure. Through, for the next few weeks when you make a purchase you get this chart and we have uh, added some wonderful little Who does beads the chart? blackbird it's a blackbird free chart i wish you had the blackbird the well the blackberry you had the blackberry lane yeah the blackberry lane thing just just to go through this i just want to show you some of these beautiful colors these are new these are the new, new fibers. weeks dye works colors right yes this is the, the glacial melt. Oop. Yes, glacial melt. Oh. Glacial I'll try melt. not to make a mess. <laughs> Sorry. And the next one is Carolina. Carolina. Something? That's Carolina Cecil. Okay. And the one after that is Broom Tree, which mm -hmm. is a beautiful green. And the one after that is I think that's it, right? No. Oh no. What's it called? Oil cloth. Oil cloth. These are their new colors this year for weeks. From market. This is all new stuff. The, oh, these are the painter's threads. I've painter's never seen threads. these. Yeah, Does these anybody know what painter's threads is? Do you, you Can you tell people what this is? They are all different kinds of fibers done according to a different artist. And so the color palette of a particular artist is recreated into different threads and fibers. I mean, look, look at the colors. My God, they're just beautiful. Painter's threads. When we go to the back and go to the area where we have the fabric, yeah. I'm going to show you. Again, I'm soloing only because Karen is helping for customer. This is how she keeps her business in <laughs> in business. These are some Gloriana threads. I don't know if you've never seen or used Gloriana. They're beautiful. I believe this is her area of things that she brought back from market. I'm going to go to a different area now. Uh, this is the newest area that Karen has set up. This is a beautiful setup to do with Memorial Day, which I guess is our next holiday. So I'm going to go through these. It's pretty easy to do myself. This is Celebrate by Lizzie Kate, done on a black fabric. This is brand, uh, this is something new. This is Holiday Hoopla 4th of July by Brenda Gervais. I wish to see it done. I am sure it will be done here eventually because people do all these. But these are, this is lovely. That's a brand new chart. This is Teeny Weeny Sweetheart USA Heart. This one is Itty Bitty Patriotic Kitty by Sweetheart Tree. Whoop. So those two are missing. That's really cute. I love kitties. I'm just going through these. This, look how cute this is. All in the same This is, oh, I caught it. Where Liberty Dwells by Hands On Designs. I love this drum. Now, as you see, this, I know that Mary actually got these from Hobby Lobby and painted them, but I think this would look cool on a vintage, on a vintage spool. But look how pretty this is. Just lovely. This is Home of the Brave by Drawn Thread. Land of the Free by Elizabeth Designs. Red, White, and Blue by Sam Sarah. I think that's just lovely. Land of Liberty by, I think, Lizzie Kate. This one is Hello Summer by Brenda Gervais. Yes, it has to be here before. Isn't that cute with the watermelon? The voting will start then. 
So we see all these different things. Patriotic Row by Bent Creek. <laughs> and that July is by Little House. Yes. I know because I've done that. Yes. So as you can see, we're in the, the patriotic section. Come 4th of July, she'll have a lot more because I know what goes on here 4th of July. I'm just going to go back here to this area a little more in depth. This is the framing area. They do absolutely beautiful framing. Probably, as you see, these are some pieces that they recently framed, so you can see an example of their work. Look at that one. <laughs> these are pieces for framing. I know I've seen this one before. That one's done on the new primitive hair these fabric. Are the brand new colors that uh, Krennic just brought out. And so there's quite a few different That's framing that she does. This is some primitive hair linen you probably have not seen. This is called We the People. I'm just going to show it to you because it's right here. Hold on, I have to un. Whoop. Un. Do this. Now, this don't is. Tell her what your what your site is. She wants to look at this video. This is the vintage cross stitch niche. It's on YouTube. I've got a few videos, but this is this is going to be a big video because it's it, this shop is so big. Oh, I've been coming here. This is a 2000. happy customer. Oh yes. <laughs> this She's is here all the time. Me. I know I've seen you here at one point or another. <laughs> I just happened to pass this by, and she did not have this before. We the People fabric. This is next time. Tan to the Queen fabric. The Bolin linen. All of a sudden, her this this area is. It's all the uh, obvious primitive hair, but this is the linen. I have, I've never seen that linen. You must have just got that in. That's been here for a little bit, but we, haven't seen we it. try to keep it in. It's hard to keep it in because it goes out quickly. People love it. You, did you show them um, the Etoile sparkly fiber that is the newest from DMC? No. I, and this is stitched in it that gives you an example of it stitched. It, it's really fun to use. It's very soft and slides through your fabric but gives a nice sparkle. New DMC Etois. Etois. And it's You can sparkly. buy, it's 35 different colors. Is it you cotton? Can, it is all, yes, it's but cotton. it has it has an opalescence in it that is... Uh, it's got a little fluff to it. It yeah. almost looks like wool. It really has a fun, it's a fun texture that's a little bit different. And speaking of textures, here's a, a needlepoint canvas that we have that we're just working on a gathering fibers forward so that there'll be lots of great textures wow. and this is going to be a pillow. Oh nice. I just was going to go over some of this because there's some vintage items as everybody knows I love these. These are pin cushions. I did not make any of these but anybody could make these but these are lovely. They're all made with uh, these are antique antique salts. I bought one of these here so I got the idea to do my own. As you can see there's a teacup. This little teacup also done finished. Very cute. Yeah. And these are those luscious seiju scissors, if anybody know, wants to know what they look like in person as opposed to maybe on a website. These are the real deal. They're beautiful. They would make a beautiful gift for a stitcher. Just lovely, lovely stuff. Is this some of the blackberry that's no, left the over? No, the blackberry is gone. What is this? What are these guys? At the top we have uh, needlework press. Those are little clocks. Christmas time, Halloween time, we've got stitching time, we've got several of those and then it it's just put into the little clock which we have. Every time I walk in here there's these something are, else. These um, are these little birds. Uh, are They're hard to see. That, that one's easier. Yeah. yeah. Those are great little hang, hang arounds and in the back you see the potpourri heart from Sweetheart Tree Very pretty. Uh, on, a, on a glittery fabric. Really pretty. Wow. Very, very pretty. Look at these little gift items. What the heck? What are, what are these? Are, these are little pins that are stitched on gauze. These Check are mirrors that are, you do the cross stitch on. It's a sweet little gift, a little hand mirror. Look at, look at these little itty bitty cross stitch items. Are these finished? Yes, yes those they are. are finished and those are on gauze. Those are 40 the, count silk gauze. My God, just beautiful. I think we're headed towards the, we're headed towards the, uh, the Halloween area. Halloween. So we'll have right to go there. over Halloween. Halloween and Christmas people stitch all year. 
it's probably uh, equal to Christmas now as far as the number of people that stitch what Halloween. What is that Halloween rules one? Look that how cute is, that is. That's Lizzie, and it's um, done on a uh, shutter. We did the finishing on, on shutter. that. shutter. How cool. Yeah. That's uh, one, of our, one of our customers, and she's loaned it to us for a little bit. And how about this guy with the Happy Halloween? That's Ben Creek. Ben Creek. On a big count. We like to show that it, you don't have to always stitch on tiny linen. No. And you can still do some wonderful things, even if you need to have it be a little bigger. So it's fun. I always say this is supposed to be fun, not, not so difficult. You're supposed to enjoy it. And how about that green thing on top? That's a, a hand-dyed linen sit and sit uh, spell, sit a spell. It, that's cross-eyed cricket. Cross-eyed cricket. I think how about you're this guy? A cricket. How about this guy? The Happy Halloween with the candy corn. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Bit creep. Look at the finish. A cute finish. Very cool. By Mary. Oh, of course. That cauldron is definitely uh, what? What is that? Prairie schooler. Yeah, prairie schooler. My God, you see, this is what happens. I I'm off today because I was on call last night. That's what happens. <laughs> so then I come in with no sleep, and then I can't remember. We're just glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here too. This is fun. This is this is. I looked forward to this last night as, as I was going through the call. Let's see. Are there any other interesting ones here? They're all interesting, but. Let's see. Uh, this is really fun. This is the Witch's Pantry from oh, Sam Sarah. Oh, my goodness. And it's a fun one. I'm just going to, I have to stand back a little. Oops. Witch's Pantry Witch's by Sam Pantry, Sarah. Sam Sarah. Really cute. And how about that guy over there, the, the Frankenstein? That is Amy Brucken. You can tell we love Amy. And then his companion is right underneath. Uh, Witchy Poo. Witchy Poo. Look at Witchy Poo by Amy Brucken. And then that guy on black, that's Samsara, isn't it? Or am I uh -huh. wrong? Samsara? Yes. The monsters. The monsters? Yep. Is that sold in one chart or does she sell one that chart. in itty bitty chart? That's no. a one chart okay. deal, not a series. So there's not much up, well, there's lots, but compared to other things, uh, the Halloween is not yet done yet because we're not quite there. But come Halloween, this whole place will be Halloween. Look at. These are some very, very cute little little um, ornaments. Do you know what that witch is? Um, I think that's JBW. JBW. Uh -huh. And how about the whatever that is, the monster? I think that's Amy Brucken. And here's a companion. <laughs> oh, how cute. And how about this little guy? Time for my coffin break. That's a Val stuff. Wow. And I think that coffin is made by Elm, Lone Elm, is well, it? Well, it comes in a kit. comes oh. like this. You get the coffin and everything else. Look how cute. And you can make the little ghosty. I like these. These little guys, do you know what these yeah, are? Yeah, those are filled Oop. with walnut shells. Um, and uh, Kathy finished these up and stitched them. This is from Scissor Tail. Scissor Tail is the name of the designer? Yes. Uh-huh. They're so cute. And the I walnut, like the little the candy walnut, corn. walnut shells, it makes a great finishing. And we... We have that ready for you to stuff. Comes in a little package like that, and you can use the walnut shells for finishing your smalls. Very nice. And and I've heard walnut oil is not good for fabric, but the shells are okay. The shells are okay. okay. You just need to put it in a lining uh, a lining bag. Oh, so you what kind of lining it, bag would they use? Just a muslin use? or plain white lining bag. Oh, I didn't that, know that. Yeah, okay. then it's not going to hurt anything, but you get that nice. Uh, weight to it. It makes a nice finish. For yeah, you guys have done a few little pillows for me. Yes. Now, just to go, just back here, we have a lot of different charts back here. Those are My new charts, God, but then which it ones are new? Christmas. All of these and these are all new things. This is from Mill Hill, uh, butterfly and dragonfly. Like a kit. Yep. It's a kit from Mill Hill. And this is, of course, Lily Violetta. Oh, there I it did is. this one. Practically perfect in every way. There you go. I showed this in another video. Yep. And then, oh, that was God. new from Market. Oh, I love this. Rain, rain, go away. Who does this? Fairy again? wool. Fairy wool. Uh huh. I happen to like this one. Isn't that cute? Oh, the my finishing God. is so cute. We're gonna put this aside. I mean, all right. That. I, so I I just love that. I don't think I've seen that. Well, that's new. That I think we brought that back. Um, There's just America. so much to see. I'm trying to get through all this. Um, this is a primitive. That's primitive hair fabric, uh -huh. isn't it? Yes, it is. What fabric is that? Is that the bee fabric? Yes, that's the bee fabric. It's right here. It's you know, called prim, prim bee, bee linen. linen. 
It's 30 count. But I don't know, is that her, that's her design that's too? That's her design too, absolutely. We have all of these are B designs. Oh, this is the B section. This is B uh -huh. section. The B section. B section. We've got lots of Bs. Now, look at this. This punch is an needle, Altoid tin. Punch needle done into the Altoid. Instead of throwing out your Altoid tins, why not reuse? Recycle. And here you have a B, a B jar. Oh, honey jar. Honey jar. You probably could do something with that. Fill We're going to put a little cro a little stitching cross right stitch. there. Yeah. What a great idea to put a little cross stitch on your B jar. This is, these are, um, what the heck is these? Sudbury. Sudbury. Sudbury house pin cushion. Love them. Oh, here's a bear B. What is that guy back there? That is oh, Prairie Schooler. Uh -huh. And, and look then at this is Cedar Hill. Honey. Very cute. And right below it, I see the Irish section. We've got some Irish, <laughs> Irish things. This is, this is another one of those, what did you say, white, white something? White willow. White willow? Uh -huh. Another one of those white willows. And, oh, I, lo I love this. Do you know what that is? Cross-eyed cricket. Look at it. No, oh, gee, that's all right. Cross-eyed cricket. It's a little pin cushion. I mean, a little like uh, acorn with it's a four acorn leaf with the, yes. clover. How cute. Oh my goodness. And now we're back into Christmas. What the heck? There's more Christmas. We've got lots more Christmas and lots. The seasons rotate through. So we, we constantly move I'm just going to eyeball some. Look how cute this is. What the heck is this? Do you know? I can't remember. So we don't know. Is it on the back? Yeah, it's, it's Village Square. Village Square. It's an old, older. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it's timeless. Look at the little. I think we have a few charts of it left. They're so it, cute. It's out of print, I'm sure. I have begun doing these. You want to tell them what these guys are? Because I actually started these. Those so are, them, uh, those are Needle done. Love. Again, an out of print chart that we have a few left uh, done on a big count so they can make a nice stand up. That is so cute. What is that? This one right here. Mm -hmm. This is um, from DMC. That's part of their uh, Colorist Home Sweet Home series, and that's fall. So, so it's nice. done in the Colorist floss from DMC that has everything in it. So we're in the we're not in fall. the Halloween section. We're in, we're in the fall. fall. Look Just at that fall. October in the back. How spectacular that is. Well, we know who it is. Yes, it is. We know. <laughs> but it's. I mean, how do you not like that? Look at this acorn. It's a simple acorn in a fancy frame. It's just real sweet. And this is another one of those white, white something. White willow. White willow. You can tell that we really love white willow. Oh, yeah. Jamie is a fabulous designer. Here's something on a box. I actually have one with you guys. It's not done mm -hmm. yet, is it? I doubt it. It's on a, this actually, is a Sudbury, I'll is it? I'll go get it because it is done. Wait till we show you guys. This will be the uh, the final thing today. That's a, that um, is cross-eyed cricket design. Well, we'll get it. We'll get it at the end. Okay. We have so much to see, and there's the, you know, um, I'm looking up at the top because you have all that turkey stuff, which is not common. Let's see what we got. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Do you know what that one is? That is... Almost looks like it's on a big turkey tray. <laughs> that is, um, my daughter stitched that for me. Um, Even and, nicer. And I put it on that basket. Kathy did the finishing and we put it on that basket. I just love the way it looks. That will be the focal point when we bring fall up this year. What, what, do you know what it is? Yes, I do know what it is. And no. let me think. I want to say imaginating. Imaginating? I think that it's imaginating. And how about this little alphabet thing? What is that? What That's is JBW, that JBW. pumpkin. JBW, uh -huh. really cute. This, this is Lizzie Kate. Is this the one you're yeah, looking at? That's, That's Lizzie Kate. Lizzie Kate. I, that pumpkin up there that's all alphabet is JBW. This Lizzie Kate is awfully count. cute. Yeah. And how about this little, the little pillow? Just the... Bent Creek. Bent Creek? From a long time ago. Wow. So many different things. What I really do want to see now is to look at some of the, um, the any new fabric you might have. Because I'd like well, to show people here. different fabrics. I don't have, you know, the painter's threads I absolutely want to show people because I don't I own any of those. We have these are oh the God. 28 count linens I'm and even weaves. See. All of this is 28 count. Then underneath is 32, going down to I think our highest count right now is 56. They've got band. They've got pillows. They've got the big stuff. <laughs> they've got Ada from six count to 56 count. 
some of these, I mean, I just don't have a lot of these different colors that I just wanted to show people. Like, this is Chablis. I don't have this. This is pictures list plus Chablis. If you ever wanted to see what it really looks like, because those pictures online don't really, that's why it's good to come to a shop. Hopefully that's true. To see. Because it's we, very true. You can touch it. You can feel it. You can see it. You can lay your fibers on it. I'm just trying to find some of the different ones. This is definitely a picture of this prank. prank. I mean, look at these colors. They're beautiful. I'm just trying to show people ones that I definitely don't have because let's see what we got in here without making too much of a mess. <laughs> That's got to annoy you when people come and just totally destroy this, but we can handle it. <laughs> this is um, Meyer. Meyer? That's what it's called. It says Meyer, right? Yeah, Meyer. Meyer. Look how 28 lovely. count. Oh, I love it. It's so. It's, it's got a little touch of purple in it. You spooky. can see it very slightly. This is Jobelin. I, I try to show people the difference between Jobelin, which is also even weave, and this is probably also Meyer. No, is it? Lazy no, it's River. Different. It's similar. But it's a whole different company. This is done by Zweigart. So it's different than the picture of this plus. They, they, it's Jobelin a different feel. is much more even. It doesn't have any Jobelin slumps. isn't even weave as is Lugana. A lot of people like it. The a even weave people. gives you a. a square when you do your cross stitch that's even and it's easier to see sometimes because the holes are pop out at you a little bit clearer than with the linen because the linen is an uneven weave you'll get a big thread and then you'll get a small thread so that's the big difference I think just, if you're transitioning from A to the linen it's not a bad idea to try to Lugana. go to the even weave yeah. for your that first project and, and it not, will make maybe it easier like a 26 27 28 28, count. 28 28 when you do 28 over 2 then you're really stitching 14 so it yeah. gives you a chance to really get used to the process of stitching over 2 I'm just looking for different colors now. I'll help you put these back afterwards, I promise. <laughs> so, let's see, what color is this? That, um, I think that is an even weave. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what that is. I think this is a local dyer. A local dyer. That That's, doesn't really uh, name her fabrics. It's pretty amazing. So this is the local dyer beautiful fabric if you're interested in this fabric this is one of a kind you will never see this again that's right it won't you can call karen again. and she will put it in the mail for you <laughs> how much is it it is 1950 for what a quarter it is or an eighth. 16 by 28 that is a huge piece for under 20 dollars my god okay that is a bargain that is a bargain. Okay, so if anybody is interested in this bargain, you should call Karen because you might show them the glow in the dark. Ooh, because those oh, yeah. are really fun. Those have ghosts. Comes that in glow it. in the dark linen. I don't have this. this is an Ada, but I know you have it. It in comes linen in too. linen too. Where's the linen? It, it comes in the in the uh, oatmeal and in the white. This is what is this? I don't know. Even that, leaf. That's thirty-two. But look at it. It's so cool. It glows in the dark. So in your room, when you shut the light, it's gonna those little ghosts will sh pop right up. I mean, there's just such cool stuff here. I mean, we look and we see, this is that roomy fabric. I had bought some. Yeah. Yep. Oops, says camera panning too fast. I guess I'm learning how to do this. <laughs> um, let's look at this, these colors. Once again, I don't have these. This is memory, memory. Mm -hmm. Very pretty picture, this plus. This is a red. Those are all 32 counts. This is rubies. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. I'm trying not to make a mess. <laughs> Try, trying to get through our video just to show people. I mean, they can call here, and if anybody's interested, you can't find this anywhere because Romy's experimenting with fabrics. So, I think it's a friend of, of Romy's in Italy that dyed that fabric for her. Now, as you see, it's $11 for this piece. I mean, where can you get one of a kind hand dyed designer yeah. fabric for 11 bucks? Yeah, 11 you just can't. 17, I think. So, don't think that going to a shop or calling or or ordering online is 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 cheaper than is more expensive than eBay. I guarantee on eBay that would be twenty two dollars. Somebody would sell it for twenty two because it's they'd say one of a kind fabric and rare and all this other stuff. You might show them our new finishing station. This is just a, a little area of the shop where you can finish your small or your bigs. We've got rickrack, pom pom fringe, ribbon. All kinds of different these belts. I love. Where They're just little cute little all kinds of good goodies sets with ribbon and yeah. felt. All the different felts, the hand dyed felts and I the regular felts. I think this looks great so because it's all in one spot. Yeah. I love this big wide rickrack. Rick rack. Yeah. 
And this is all by Dames of the Cauldron. Yes, and Lady Dot. Lady Dot. She's very nice. She actually posts on my website. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, not on my website, on my page. She posts some of her new stuff on there. And then I wanted to show them those painters, the painters threads linen, which I think is, do we have any, do you have any left? Let's see what's left. Or is it all gone? Yes. Here we go. There's, there's some right there. Now, look, most of it's gone. It's all gone. Yeah, that's, I think that might be the last piece we have. Painters threads. Look at oh, this how is, this is from them too. Vibrant. Beautiful. These colors are. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? They're hand painted fabrics. I have walked out of here without these fabrics and the orange one that I wanted isn't here anymore. Go figure. Okay. <laughs> Cause I waited, I waited too long, but I wanted to show you these because yeah, they're fabulous. They also do canvases. This is a, this is a <gasps> painter's thread oh canvas. Oh my God. So it's a fun, fun way to create something that would be really one of a kind. For the needle pointers needle, out there. This is for needle pointers. So it's, Unbelievable. It's fabrics or canvases that, from them. Crazy. So these painter's threads, I'm waiting for one. I want one in red, okay. like real red. These are some Nikki's Creations fabrics. These are just lovely that she happens to have. Again, the prices aren't bad. This is a nice size piece of fabric for $21 and they're hand dyed Italian, beautiful fabrics. Nikki's Creations has beautiful, uh, nice little Absolutely. designs. Absolutely. Um, is there any other unusual fabric that we could show people? Because I, I love fabric, I just don't have a lot. This is something different. What is the stitcher's cloth here? This is, surface embroidery has really oh. come on strong. And so we have a lot of things that are just for embroidery, not counted embroidery. So this is, this is a kit um, done for a kitty cat, which is really cute. And so this fabric is really for surface embroidery. We, Do you, we have all kind, this is an example of a, of a little kit from uh, DMC that we finished into a pillow. Is this like the old transfers? Oh. Remember the transfers? Transfers, yes. You know, I still have some stuff from yep. my grandma, the Monday, yep. Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, it, <laughs> funny thing, it's come back very popular wow. and very popular with the younger folks. So we're having oh, a figure. resurgence of surface embroidery, which is so much fun. I think we're having a resurgence of stitching, period. I think so. I think needlework in general is really growing, particularly here in the United States. And I'm so delighted after all these years in business, it's really fun to have a kind of resurrection. It is, and keeping our needle workshops uh, uh, vibrant and going is, is the most important thing. Let me tell you, this is the, just a pan over here, this is the infamous stitching table. Now, if I'm off or, and I have time, which is probably about once a month, because I live about 45 minutes from here, I come down and I sit here on a Saturday afternoon and I stitch and gossip and talk and joke and everything with very, very friendly people. You don't even have to know them. You can just come by, sit down, introduce yourself and everybody will become your friend. Some of the best people I have ever met. Very nice stitchers. people because they, it takes something very special. And the common denominator is the needlework. They're from all different walks of life. So it's, now, a, it's a wonderful opportunity. Now, floss tube is great watching it, doing it at home, that's one thing, but there's nothing like getting to pe together with folks. Almost like they used to have quilters get together at home. An old quilting bee, yes. And they used to have people do needlework back, uh, women, when the women, that was the women's thing to do, yes. especially the yes. gentlemen, the ladies yes, would get absolutely. together. But now we have lots of guys too. We, oh yeah. Stitching is, is unisex. <laughs> yes, we have Gary, who's always very entertaining. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so. But several other wonderful gentlemen. In fact, our contest, every summer we have a contest and that that contest has been won numerous times by gentlemen oh gee. Uh, so the contest starts the second week of june we will have the whole front of the shop will be filled with oh. the entries and, i have to enter something and then you better believe it and everybody gets everybody wins so it's a great opportunity that we can see what you've hmm. done so I'm thinking, thinking of maybe that piece with the the small uh, small medium sized piece with the uh, with the birds with yes. the cardinals. Yes. that would be nice. That or be the piece that you did on the, the Sudbury. Let's go look at that, Natalie, and you can see what you think because we just finished that for you. Okay, this is a I haven't seen this yet. So everybody, this is a okay. grand, a grand. Da 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 da. 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 <gasps> it's nicer. 
than I ever thought. Kathy does the finishing on this beautiful box. This is a Sudbury box. Um, they're not inexpensive, but the wood and the inside is just as beautiful as the outside. Um, this is magnificent. Just to let so you that guys would be know, a great entry. The this this is Alleluia by Lone Elm. Lone Elm. The these are all the hand dyed threads. I did this on 36 count linen. This is actually called Hippie Foot. It's by by Kitten Stitcher Linen. It's called Hippie Foot, and it's one over, and it's magnificent. This is just a magnificent piece, and maybe I should enter this piece. What do you I think? I think it would be a great entry. Should I contest. leave it here? Yes. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. Just make sure nobody breaks it. I promise. <laughs> and that's going to be my official entry into the... Well, now, what is that going to be? The what contest category? will begin the second week in June and will run through the third week of July. Oh. And whenever you come in as a customer, you it, when you make a purchase, you get a ballot, and then you can vote in the different categories. Small, medium, large, usually miscellaneous, and needlepoint separate. Will so, that be in the miscellaneous one, then, that or will small? go into miscellaneous, miscellaneous because of the different finishing. I think I have a chance at winning. Maybe I could beat out the guys this year. I, that would be great. We'll cheer you on for sure. So this store, the only other thing I want to show you is some of the hand dyed flosses and things. Okay. And I want to tell people how important it is. I sometimes like everybody else, I buy my floss online because I just need it like the next day or whatever. But what I try to do is I try to bring a let's say a a project down here that i need floss for and i just actually touch and feel and put them together it makes and a big look difference at them. to touch and feel tremendous difference these are this is all color works classic, classic color, color works. works we carry usually um the entire line um and that color works has come on very strong we also carry weeks dye works let's look at the weeks and the weeks this is the whole ring of the weeks. my goodness have you ever seen, now you can't possibly own all this, but they do. Yes, and we have we carry the entire line of weeks. Every we once carry, in a while, we'll take one off. I will let them know if I take one off. We carry the entire line of gentle art. I, I actually have a very big fan of gentle arts. I just love the way they, um, they're just more, a little bit more prim. And I, I just love them. I love them all. I and love then, them of course, all. this is the Color Works ring, too. So we carry all of those. Um, then we also carry hand dyed silks, Gloriana. We have, I saw the Gloriana in the front. Yes, we have. And we carry several other. What are these right here? That is just the small tab of weeks. Oh, weeks. Okay, it's uh -huh. another one. Yeah, just to do to Maybe. match up. Then you have these. Dinky which, dyes is also one of dyes. the one of the uh, silks that we Oops, carry. That's okay. I love these, but you guys do order anything people. We want. will order anything yes. you need for your project. Uh, thread gatherer is another is another one of the very silks. unique threads, right? They're, they're beautifully hand dyed and and nicely consistent. I like these. I think they this have is some rainbow gallery. Rainbow we carry gallery. The line of rainbow gallery, and we has um, some really. I I love their their. Uh, Lots of different textures. Textured threads. They have the all the different ones that you can use, the golden ones. This is fun from them. That's the whisper that that will wait for a kitty cat or whatever. Or a gives, sheep. Yes, or a sheep. Gives you that nice fuzzy texture. I That's the glisten, which is a, a different alternative to the Krinics. A little stronger, a little easier um, to keep I up I think that these sparkly threads, these golds, are easier to work with than yeah. the Krennics and a lot easier than the DMC. They don't shred as much. So I, I really like these. But they have a whole selection here, and look at all the beads we they carry have. The Mill Hill line of beads. And there's a lot of beads. Whoops. <laughs> uh, do I destroy the store? No. It's okay. Just, I mean, just, just to pan in on it, you can't imagine how many beads there are. Um, just magnificent. Of course, she has your needles. I usually don't walk out of here with, without needles. We try to carry just about every brand of needle so that everybody has their favorite. 
What and did you we, sell your mag eyes? I was looking for them because these I wonder the mag eyes right here. No, no, the ones that go around your head. Oh, I, yeah. I think we're all think out of that them. right now. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Because those are the ones I personally use. Yeah. Although these, these mag clips are kind of cool. Yeah, they just clip on your glasses. The mag eyes we're just out of right now, but we carry them. And they have Q snaps, of course, and Q they snaps, have Q snap covers. They have all kinds of magnifying. Did you get? Light. Did you get your roll of frame order in or no? No, but it's coming. Yeah, it's because be I'm a, waiting for some. I have you down to call as soon as it comes. We've Good, got because lots of different scissors. Oh, okay. They have Bowen scissors here. Um, these are the bargain brand. I'm, uh, when I say bargain, I mean you get a lot. These are really excellent for your money. Um, wow. These Sullivan scissors are something else. I've never yes. seen these. Yeah, uh oh. These are fairly new. Uh oh. <laughs> They're really pretty. Here's what happens when I see something. I'm like, oh no. Then we, they have the we novelty try to have ones. Scissors for every single pocketbook. So there's different, different values. Um, just something for everybody. Here's something really um, that people used to do a lot of and don't Tell anymore. Us. I have personally made a bunch of these as gifts. Yeah. Uh, for my brother, my brother Fred. Uh, in case you're watching, Fred, I, I I saw that those towels were not there last time I visited. <laughs> I'm just joking. They, they were. But anyway, as you can see, these are fancy ones. You you have, it's usually, it's almost always Ada. I would love if somebody did a linen one. Yeah. I really would. But uh, the, it's a band, and you can put your personalized thing. You can put the family name and initials. Yep. I've done them with initials that look really pretty. And if you want a quick gift, yeah. they're fabulous. They're fun and you, easy to stitch. Do you have any that are made? Uh, not out no. right here. We have them put away. <laughs> have them put away, I know. You might show this. This is a fun product to get organized. It has all these vinyl pockets, and you fold it up. Oh, I do like that. And then you have it, and it, it's easy for travel. It's fun. These are great fabrics that wear and wear, but it's a wonderful little thing to yeah, take with you. Yeah, I actually like this. Even, even It'll honestly, hang. hang on your wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know what I didn't show is, is you have the fabric, the uh, the, the bags for the, uh, the, the projects. Do you have the project bags here? Oh, I was yeah. going to show a few, right? Up, they're all up there way high. Where above are the project the, bags? Above the ornaments. Oh my goodness. Because we, we utilize every bit of space, but those are all project bags. Look at these big, nice project bags she has. Who knew that they were up there? <laughs> okay. But these beautiful project bags. For storing and carrying and toting. Now, you, know, you know, Natalie, this is a great product that we really love that we have. These are lap frames, and it is a, it's the Q-snap style, so you're fabric is held nice and tight. It will actually hold two projects, a smaller one and a larger one. This is the large size. It also comes in a smaller size, but this is a great product that we have in the store, and I love mine. What it does is it frees your hands up so when you're stitching, your uh, the hand that you're not using can work to help guide your fiber Well, you can on. also stitch with two hands this way. Exactly. You and can, how, much so is, how much is much the big faster. one? How much is the 68 price? 68 58 68 for the and big and And you can sit at 50. the table and it looks yes. sit, you nice. You can sit at a table or you can put it in your lap. I've even used it on an airplane, the smaller version, on an airplane and I can stitch and then it comes apart and goes right into a stitching bag. Well, it's hard for me to stitch after my second cocktail on the airplane because I don't <laughs> like flying. So my husband makes fun of me. Um, but that this is, is actually a brand cool. new Stony Creek magazine just came out, and we love this project. Welcome summer from Stony Creek. Yes, Bra hot off the press. Hot off the press, brand new. Just I noticed this week. you had the table runners. These I are saw table these table runners with with the insert so that you can make a little bit of stitching. This is a summer one. Here's an Easter one. Here's a Christmas one. They're all from uh, Stitchworks. She's going to be bringing out more and more designs to go with them and more and more runners. I know she was at the National Market. She was there, absolutely. So She's from Oklahoma. We're just trying to go through the miscellaneous things. No, one can never spend an entire day in this store and only s can, can spend and see very little. This is a fun thing for folks who might have a problem with a little bit of counting or vision. This is from Needle Art World, World and it is called No Count Cross Stitch. It's all printed on the fabric. Lovely. It's even weave fabric. It's printed on there. You do your stitching and then you wash it 
and all of this washes away and what wow. you are left with is your beautiful design even for a child learning yes that's it's a great thinking. it's or a great older, product somebody with an eye right. problem wow right. it's a great product that will really be make life easier what is this down here that's, that's sneaking back there that's one of their designs that's you have a no to count. see this that's you a no count design this is no count cross stitch and that's have they you... did four seasons and that's the winter season this is magnificent so you stitch it the design washes away from the fabric and what you have left is your stitching. I know nothing about this. This is why every single time I walk in here, I learn something new and I'm so impressed. This looks like one of those, uh, it's what, the, what the heck Kincaid. is his name? Kincaid. Looks a yeah. little Kincaid-like. My goodness. Yeah, so wow. that's a great... Thing for somebody who might have trouble counting or think, oh, I can't do That's cross as nice as any piece yes. that you see. And how about, see, just to show you, these are some of the Sudbury pieces that she has. Sudbury's been around a very long time. They, sure they make have, wooden. They make a quality product. Look, this is a little pin cushion. A little pin cushion. I mean, it's beautiful. And this is another, this is like your box. Like my box. Like done but differently. I think mine's nice. No, just kidding. Absolutely. <laughs> Yours is beautiful. And then the trays, all kinds of there's different things. There's a clock. Um, yeah. There's little jewelry boxes. The reason I show you these is I think they make amazing gifts. There's even a, is this a cutting it's board? It's a cutting board. Man, Absolutely. I, I mean, if you made this for somebody for Christmas or something personalized even, and this is like a nice cutting it's board. It's a good cutting board. It's pro a good product. I mean, these are like amazingly great things. There's also, you won't see these anywhere. I have yet to see these on anybody's video. These are the Lone Elm. Elm. I really do like these. I have yet to buy one. I will. Um, I've had my eye, believe it or not, on this purple one. Yeah, the purple's especially pretty. These are handmade. In the United States. Shaker box, in, of course. In the United, I think Sudbury's handmade in the United yes. States, too. Um, and you see the top is designed to put one of their designs on. And they're magnificent. They're Loam Elm Lane. She has a. She only has two of them here, I think. She had. Yeah, a, there was two, a trunk show, there right? Are, there, yeah, there are several different colors, and these, this is just. These are. Area. They're different. They make them in different colors and different sizes. Mm -hmm. I I like the traditional ones, so that's why I chose to buy the yeah, Sudbury. Really pretty. But I got to tell you, if you want to get a gift for a stitcher. Uh, this is something special. They're all different from what I understand. They're yes. all a little bit different, well, one of a kind hand and done. handmade. They're not machine done. So Lone Elm Lane, if you're interested in this, I'm sure she, uh, Karen would mail order one of these you to you. Believe it. Oh yeah, she would. She and she, she'll mail order any of this stuff, which is amazing. Now the last thing we're gonna do today is the front area, the infamous front area where the new charts are located. The brand new hot off the presses. I saw one out of the corner of my eye that I know just came out. So if we could just review those. Okie doke. And then I can do my own my own work here today. Will be uh, I, I need to kit up some projects with some floss. And These are the newest charts, the things we either brought back from Nashville or that's come since Nashville. So these are the newest things that we have just well, gotten well, in. There was a sampler here that I caught out of th this one. This just came this out. This is brand new. Hands across the sea. Magnificent, and aren't they? She. These, these reproductions are like none other. The detail is incredible. Now there are two that I just ordered today and that are on its way to me. So within a few days, I'll have two brand new ones. That's Eliza Knight. Is that from Nashville this year? Yes. I'm gonna show everybody these. And how about this Harriet one? Harriet Hartland, this is, this is an older one. Now these do go out of print too. Yes, when they go out of print, they are gone, gone. So if you think That's there's a, one that you want, you need to get it while it's hot. <laughs> let's just, just barely go, let's briefly go through this. I know ooh la la. Ooh la la, those, these are all blackbird things that, that just came yes, out, that our are, lasting friendship. Or, so we have, we try to always carry everything new blackbird. Um, exceedingly fine tea. Kathy Barrick, that's carriage house. These are Chatelaine designs. And we have several of those. They are really incredible designs. I don't have the guts to do one um, because, from what I understand, they're they're very challenging. But I will one day. <laughs> these are these are cute. These are just um, get a tasket. That's from Needlework Press, and they're finished in those little baskets. 
I don't know. Are those new, tin though? baskets. I don't think no, those are new. that was on there because something else was in front of it that oh. sold. <laughs> I, I know I bought a sampler here. I'm yeah. looking for the new, new stuff. Oh, Marianne Bailey. Queenstown. That's I new. bought this, guys. Yep, yep. I have that. Brand new. Just amazing. Uh, I don't know. Are there any more brand new ones? This is very popular, that the, Diane Arthur show. I've seen a number of people she doing likes this. those. And, and, you know, for some of us, we don't want to have a lot of color changes. Yeah. So the silhouette is an easy, simple thing that is is just enjoyable to stitch. For from sure. imaginating. Yeah, from imaginating. Let's go for the new ones. These the are brand new. The, the smaller charts are also new um, and what from market. Here? There's Shakespeare's Peddler, Jenny Bean. Oh, let's look. Let the Children Come to Me. Very pretty. That's new. I'm just looking to see what we have. The new hot off the press stuff because, and it goes. Let me tell you, people come in here on a Saturday and you're like fighting over charts. This is from Karen Kluba, Rosewood Manor. This was from Market, the cookbook, and all the cross stitch patterns. Great recipes and some darling cross stitch patterns. Let me just How show you. How many of these books do you have? I have a couple of them, but there's a, it's chock full of Rosewood Manor style designs. And all then by her, one, right? All by her. All by her. Wonderful, wonderful recipes in addition Let's to all look these at designs. Some of these. Look, how, look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Oh, I even love simple. Yeah. yeah. But really fun. I mean, it is, it is tons of designs. Lots wow. of good things. So, well, on that note, I'm just, she's just helping a customer. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm just going to scan over and see if there's anything we haven't done before we're finished. <laughs> just to show you, these are yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna try some felt it. items. That's okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Check that out. The pin cushion kit made of felt. These are all, every time I come in here, there's something snuck in here, like these little felting items, right? Yeah, that's a little kitty cat. And the merry mice, check this one out. It's got a spool, <laughs> a little itty bitty, a little itty bitty spool, and some, a little cross stitch that you put around the spool. Anyway, so I think you've got a good idea of what the shit, well, what do we got? Uh, a stitch a day keeps the crazy away, if that were only true. <laughs> <laughs> then my house well, would be in hope. control. It's our hope. <laughs> so I, I think everybody's got a good idea about the, this, the shop and uh, the cross stitch cupboard in Wilton Manors. Wilton Manors is a little enclave that's uh, really next to Fort Lauderdale. It's not really Fort Lauderdale, is it? It's it, its own it, little it, village. We use Fort Lauderdale for our mailing address, but yeah. it really is Wilton Manors. Um, but we're right at the edge. So. A lot of people come to Florida to, to visit, and if you go to Miami, this is about 20 minutes from Miami. It's about... Right up 95, get off at Oakland Park Boulevard. It's about five minutes from, it's about five minutes from Fort Lauderdale, yeah. and it's about 40 minutes from uh, West Palm Beach. But be sure to stop by. Thank you, everybody, for see. watching. There we go. Good work, girl. Yay.